cars and trucks are getting more complicated and advanced. Technology has changed them from simply a motorized vehicle to a climate-controlled, eco-friendly, computer-controlled, fuel-efficient, personalized entertainment transport vehicle. And with that has come the need to diagnose the problems with these systems when they occur. Actually, fixing these vehicles hasn't really changed that much. We simply locate the problem and either repair it or replace it. It's a lot like changes in the medical field. Doctors used to rely only on lab tests, vital signs, and x-rays. And now with the advance of technology, they use CAT scans and MRIs. The auto tech has advanced as well, only most of us don't realize how far. And that can translate into lost income. Recently, I've been involved in a medical issue that's required many doctors and hospital visits. You see the doctor, and he orders lab tests, a CAT scan, and an MRI. Then he evaluates all this data, combines it with his physical exam, and then he determines how he's going to treat you. And as you might expect, it can get quite expensive. The doctor gets paid, of course, but then there's all these charges for all the sophisticated testing as well. Let's compare that to a car that's not running right. You see the mechanic and he orders tests, a CAT scan, and an MRI. And then he evaluates all this data and determines what he's going to do to fix it. I know you think I'm nuts and way off track. Mechanics don't order lab tests, CAT scans, and MRIs. Or do we? And we just don't know it. Let's take a closer look at what we really do. We've used lab tests for years. Fuel pressure tests, compression tests, cylinder balance tests, combustion leak tests, coolant pressure tests, voltage drop, ohm resistance, and ever since the introduction of OBD2, CAT scans have become an everyday occurrence. Yes, CAT scans, computer-assisted troubleshooting. What is a medical CAT scan? It's looking for things that you can't see with your eyes. It's looking at the body electronically without having to take it apart. And what is an automotive CAT scan? It's looking at things you can't see with your eyes. It's looking at the car electronically without having to take it apart. Retrieving codes, reviewing PID data, monitoring voltage ranges, watching fuel trim values, and comparing O2 patterns. And what is a medical MRI? magnetic resonant imaging. It's simply seeing the body as it really is, a real-time perspective. So what is an automotive MRI? It's managed real-time imaging. We've been doing this with lab scopes for quite some time now. Codes and scanner data can only tell you so much. Sometimes we need to see it in real time as it's happening. Lab scopes give us an image live as it's happening and it allows us to manage those images under various conditions and compare suspect images to known good examples. Now I'm not trying to say that a mechanic is the same as a medical doctor, nor a medical doctor the same as a mechanic, but I am saying that we both use advanced diagnostic technologies to be the best that we can in our own specialized fields. Now the difference comes from the patient's or the customer's perspective about paying for this diagnosis. A patient knows that they have to pay for the doctor's exam and when the doctor orders a CAT scan and an MRI it's just a necessary charge so the doctor can make an accurate diagnosis. And the customer knows they have to pay the mechanic for the repair but when the mechanic orders a CAT scan or an MRI they just assume that it's part of the regular charge. Some of that is because we don't explain what a CAT scan and an MRI are, but most of it's because we just go ahead and do it anyway and never inform the customer what it really took to diagnose the car's problem. A typical mechanic's invoice might say something like this, complaint, check engine light is on and it runs bad, repair, tune up, replace plugs, wires and coil, or maybe an injector, or even repair intake. Wouldn't it be more accurate to say performed CAT scan, computer assisted troubleshooting, Retrieve stored codes P0301 and P0170, indicating cylinder one misfire and bank one lean. Reviewed all PID data to confirm faults. Performed an MRI, managed real-time imaging, to verify spark and delivery control. Confirmed fuel injector control from the PCM. 
and performed a fuel delivery test. Found good spark control, injector control, but no response from the injector when commanded on. The injector is bad. The intake must be removed to gain access to replace the bad injector. Now which of these explanations will the customer understand as the basis for the diagnostic charge on their bill? The better we become at diagnosing problems, the better we need to become at explaining exactly what it takes to diagnose those problems. Customers always want the cheapest price, but they don't mind paying for quality work when they know they've received it. So on your next diagnostic challenge, take the time to explain exactly what it took to fix the problem.